This week bonus task is about a random generator. Actually, you can do funny things with random numbers. For example, you can calculate pi. This might be surprising as pi is exactly defined. However, um, there is an argumentation in this first part how this uh, thing can be done. And actually you can calculate pi divided by 4, which means you can simply um, multiply the result by 4 and then you end up with uh, pi. What you need is random values between 0 and 1. And to have those, of course, we need our library random. So the first thing we do is we import random. And uh, to get these values between 0 and 1, there's a function again called random and we will simply try it out. Okay, stop. I have uh, entered the wrong key. For uh, in uh, range 10, so we are just producing now 10 iterations and we say x equal to random, the library, random, the function uh, and we print out x. And if you let it run, you can see that we get a few random numbers and they are all between 0 and 1. So next thing what we have to do, we just need two random numbers. Yeah, so x and y, random dot random. So now we do have two. And actually we have to do this calculation x um, by the power of 2 plus y by the power of 2 and we have to check if this one is bigger than one. Yeah, so let's do, let's say z equals to x by the power of two plus y by the power of two. And we print out this z. And then you can see yeah, some values are bigger than one, like this one. The others are smaller. What does this mean? Actually, it means all these numbers are within the square. All these numbers define a point. If the uh, sum of x square plus y square is bigger than 1, yeah, the point is outside of the circle. It is just lying in this blue area. Yeah, and now you can see we simply have to sum up how many hits we do have only in the square sorry, only in the circle, meaning the number is smaller, the sum is smaller than one. And how many do we have in total? Yeah. To do this, yeah, we simply have two counting values. So we say hit equals to zero and total is equal to zero as well. Hit means we are in this circle and total is the total. Yeah. So what we can now do is we say if this term is bigger than 1, in this case we increase the value of hit. Hit plus equal 1 and each of these points is within the square so we can always say total is bigger than, uh, will be increased. So plus equal 1. And now um, we can check, let's say, what is this relation. So we have said pi divided by 4. Uh, so the, 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 um, the, the relation between hit divided by total is the same as pi divided by 4. So we can as well say um, this our 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 calculation of pi should be, and we print it simply out, okay, um, 4 times hit divided by total. Yeah, and now let's see, um, there is a mismatch, there is something going wrong. Oh, this must be a smaller one. So let's go up a little bit in here. And 
then you can see that the number is, let's say, going into the direction of 3.1. So let's go for, let's say, 10,000 runs. And we only check, let's say, what is the value of pi every thousand um, iteration. So um, if total modulo a thousand equal to zero, then we do our print. So we do not want to print each round. So what do we get then? Yeah, so you see some values which are getting closer and closer with respect to pi. Yeah, let's run it again. Yeah, and you see 312. Yeah, maybe it should even go up here. Yeah. And you see we get to 31.534, which is quite close already. To check how close we are coming to pi, it's good to simply see um, or print out the difference between our randomly generated pi and the real pi. To do so, we have to include our library math because here we have stored, sorry, math, because here we have stored um, pi accordingly. So what we say is here math.pi. So what we get is the absolute fault between these values. Let's run it again. And you can see oh, we're coming to up to, let's say, 1000, 2000, um, close to pi after 100,000 iterations. Now let's check if you can get a little bit closer. Yeah, so it takes a little bit of time. Yeah, you see sometimes in between we are a little bit closer, but we are going around these pi. You see here we are have a positive difference, here we have a negative difference. So with this I'm quite satisfied. However, it's a good uh, way to check if, for example, a random generator is behaving well.